Hi guys, Creative Katie Karen Virgil here. Welcome to my channel and an art journal tutorial. This one's full of tips and tricks, great for beginners. I'm working on my 9 by 12 Canson Mixed Media Art Journal. And I've taken it off the coils, which is why you're only seeing one page. This allows me to work on a flat surface and I don't have to work around the coils. I've taped off the top because I like maintaining that straight edge. When all the pages are done, I will reassemble on the coil. So today I wanted to use this new to me stencil from Crafters Workshop called Labyrinth. And I grabbed my TCW white modeling paste and I am applying it through the stencil in three and a little bit of sections. Here. Loving the angular lines, the imperfection of this, and I think this is really going to work well for a first layer. Now, because it's a first layer, not a focal image, I'm not overly concerned on getting a perfect stenciling, but I am trying. I'm lifting up the stencil. Uh, over top where, where the, there's wet modeling paste so that I don't smudge it. Alternatively, you could stop, use the heat tool, dry it, and then apply it, but I'm too impatient to do that. Loving the shape of this stencil and the texture that this is going to give to my page. So very happy with my choice of stencil and anxious to see how this works. When you've used modeling paste through the stencil, make sure you take time to clean the stencil. I use my Murphy's Oil soap mixture and water. Now I'm going to colorize my page. And I am basically using two colors here, yellow green that I've just put on and this light blue permanent. Yes, I've grabbed that bright aqua, and I do try it, but I decide to edit that choice out. And I'm just putting this, I want kind of color blocks here and there, and then I'm mixing the two colors of paint wet on wet together to get a third tone. I'm also mixing in a little bit of white gesso here and there, and that gives, again, some more different value. Here I'm putting that bright aqua, and it just wasn't quite where I wanted to go. I didn't really need it. So you'll see me either let it dry or come back in, wipe it off with a baby wipe, and then reapply with one of the two colors that I am using. The light blue permanent and the yellow green make a beautiful green together. And you know, I love when you blend colors, the color that you get. It's just so much better than anything that comes straight out of a tube. I'm adding more paint as I go to build up intensity of color in some places. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please go over there and follow me at Creative Katie. You can see what I'm up to day to day. And it gives you a heads up that there's a new video coming. Love painting with my fingers. You can be doing this with a paintbrush. I just find I get it too blended when I use a paintbrush. I like the organic feel more when I use my fingers. Here I'm just grabbing a baby wipe and that's just helping me blend the colors and spread them a little bit more. It gives a slightly different effect, so give it a try. So now we've add, had two layers. One modeling paste, the second layer is the color. It 
If you want to build up the intensity, add more paint, you could put a layer of white gesso there and that will make the colors a little brighter underneath. Just in case you get a little too blendy or you end up with a little too, you know, not enough of the yellow green. So once that's all done, I'm giving it a good dry. Now I wanted to bring out the texture and oops, the camera wasn't on. I'm using Prussian blue, a dark blue, and I'm putting it on the blending tool, the foam, and very lightly going over the highlight textured areas. If you get a smudge, you can always wipe it with a baby wipe. Sometimes I do, sometimes I leave it. I like the smokiness. I love how this is bringing out the texture of the modeling paste. It's making that pop. The dark color is adding another dimension to it. And then I'm going to shade around the page as well. Now the paint that's on the blending tool it's not wet, it's worked into the sponge. And I find that if you spray it with the Murphy's oil soap mixture and throw it in a thing of water, you can reuse these sponges again and again and again. So even with acrylic paint, if you don't wash them, they do go hard and you will need to buy more. Loving the look of this. And just building up more. I want it a little bit darker, so I'm coming back and applying layers. The thing about stenciling and highlighting, a lot of the time you need to do it in small increments. I think if we get too impatient, that's when we run into trouble. Now I am attempting to try white here. I'm thinking the hot light, the highlight of the white might be nice, but it's really not giving me the look that I want. So I nix that and go back over it with the Prussian blue. So don't be afraid to try something. You can always, because this is all acrylic paint, you can always go back. Now I wasn't sure what focal image because again, I didn't have a plan. So I went through my napkin stash and I have this wolf and I love the line work on the napkin really reads well with the uh, modeling paste texture that we put. So I'm cutting it out from the napkin just to play with the orientation. Now one seems to not quite work and I'm thinking okay what if I had two? Two seems to be covering up a little bit too much of the napkin and while the colors work and everything I'm unsure about this one. So back to my napkin stash. Then I find this rooster one. And again, I cut out two of them. And I'm positioning this. And I like this more because it leaves more of the napkin or more of the background showing. And I love all that textural detail that we put in. Now, night fell and I wasn't certain on either of those options. So the next day, I just decide, you know, maybe I need to add a little something extra to the background. So I grab this stencil. This is the six inch stencil. It's called stained glass. And I'm using white acrylic paint on a makeup sponge. And I'm trying to target the areas that are flatter. I don't want to block off too much of that labyrinth stencil because I'm really loving it. 
this was a bit of a risk because I did love the background the way it was, but you sometimes we need, we're too scared to go on to the next level. And the magic threes, it always seems threes or odd numbers work best for composition. And some of them I'm not putting completely on. We have one whole one and then the other ones. Now this one, I didn't do the circles at the end, so I'm trying to find, reposition it, which sometimes takes a little work, and just adding that so it matches all of those. So now neither of those napkins work and I go through my stash and I have this dragonfly that I cut out of my gel prints. Now this colors work because as I showed you on the color wheel, the, the blue green is opposite the yellow orange red. And that's going to make the focal image really pop off the background and they're going to play. Would you mix the, the red with the green? Wet on wet? No, because that would make mud. But colors opposite the color wheel are really going to play well for focal image background. They're just really going to pop. Here I'm using gel medium from the Crafters Workshop. It's the matte finish. I always use the matte finish because I have texture underneath, and this is a, this gel print is actually cut out of car, is made out of cardstock. So it's a little bit thicker. So I needed the gel medium as opposed to the fluid medium. Now I love how the labyrinth, you've got the angles tie in with the stained glass doily you've got the angles or the star shape around the outside edge now the inside flower of that stained glass doily matches the wing shape and the body shape of the dragonfly and i think it's because of those things that those elements that are all working together which makes why i chose this often when i put something together I don't really know why, but then I stop when it, when it works and I ask myself, why did it work? Why? Because then I can duplicate that. I can use that knowledge and use that in another page. And if you're watching this, you can learn from me. So I'm, you know, giving you the reasoning about why it works. You want your elements, your focal image, your background, you know, different things to speak to each other. There's got to be a reason they're together. Then I cut out a sentiment from my sentiment pack number three that says, you are my happy place. And my happy place is either outside in my garden or in my art studio. And on this page, I brought both. Now this is my General's Charcoal Pencil. This one is extra soft and I'm using it because I'm outlining. It's a nice dark charcoal, which I love. Not all charcoals are the same. And then when I smudge it, I'm getting that softer look and that really appeals to me. And I'm putting it right on top of the collaged element. If I'm getting some on the page, I just wipe it off with a baby wipe. That's the joy of charcoal. It is removable. I do have to remember though that because it is water soluble and will move, I can't put wet medium on top of it without smudging it. And I love how that black just is making that dragonfly further pop off the page. And you can see the difference.
here you can see how the dragonfly wings really correspond to that shape of that inner flower on that stained glass stencil. Now, when you're using charcoal, your finger is going to get covered in charcoal. So take the time every once in a while and wipe off your finger so you don't get it where you don't want it. Outlining the sentiment just to give it a little bit more weight on the page. And now I just want to add that smudge charcoal loveliness around the page. I'm just doing all four sides. Love, love, love that smudged look. Links to the products can be found in the description box below, either through my Amazon store, the TCW store, and the and Ninny's napkins. Ninny's carries many of the TCW stencils, both in 6-inch and 12-inch, and a lot more than napkins, so go and check her out. Just going to splatter with some black here. I really love how this page turned out. It just really made me happy. The colors just worked together. I, my splatter got was a little bit of a blob, so I just pull it off with the baby wipe very carefully. Where's your happy place? Give me a comment, give me a leave, give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your creative friends. Now let's get creative. <laughs> 